It's been a long time coming. Believe me, we are so excited for this. It is a beautiful day today. Nick's out spraying, taking advantage of the calm winds. The winds are supposed to be picking up and you can actually feel a little bit right now, but uh, next week they're talking pretty windy. But next week there's a couple things going on. If you remember, we talked about putting up some grain bins. Well, those grain bins are in a building way down there and we need to move all the grain bin pieces over to the Quonset where they're gonna put the new bins up. Well, we gotta get that done before they arrive. We've got three days to do it and it shouldn't take us too long, but you never know if something breaks or something happens. But it's a nice calm day, so Wiggles and I, right over there, Mr. Wiggles, he's gonna help me. We're gonna take the case tractor, which actually has a leak in the tire and he's filling it up right now, and we'll have to just kind of nurse it. Hopefully it doesn't go too flat. And we're gonna take this flatbed trailer with the skid steer over there and move a lot of, a lot of pieces of steel. Like a good neighbor, Wiggles is there. <laughs> good morning. Wait a minute, he should be picking me up instead. Uh, that's how it usually <laughs> works, right? <laughs> We've renegotiated terms. <laughs> we're we're role-playing different roles. <laughs> so we just dropped off the 7140 right here at the Quonset. We're in the <laughs> Fummins, and uh, we're gonna head down to that building and let's find out what we gotta do. We'll have a game plan, hopefully, and you guys can just tag along. Isn't that right, Wiggles? I believe so. I won't know until I get there, though. <laughs> well, what we got here, Wiggles is gonna run it off the trailer and then we'll go inside and we'll evaluate what we need to do. I brought some pallets so we can put a couple bin sheets or whatever items if we need to split it up on the pallets. And then we'll just start loading away and hauling over to the bin. down yep keep going go up up yeah. you had it go up yeah. there you go go right in on my right tire. you're good keep going you're good lift up lift it to curl it there you go wiggles is doing a fantastic job of just being really careful and gentle of uh not just stabbing into things picking it up and running out because if we damage something that's on us and we don't want to damage something. So we're going to carefully pick up everything in this building, put it on the trailer and carefully put it back on the ground and then it's their job to assemble everything and if something's damaged then it came from the factory that way or they did it. So we just got to be slow, steady and careful and he's doing a fantastic job. In fact he's a little slower than me because he's being even extra careful and that's actually a good thing. So we have this front end loader over here because we'll probably use it later but we're going to use it for air to fill up the tire on the tractor because the tractor tire has really got a bad leak in it. Well, the starter's stuck in the loader so I can't get it to start, but we have the 9370 in this building over here so we just pulled it out. We're using the air from the 9370 to fill up the tire so we can use the tractor to take the stuff off the trailer. Craziness, but we're getting it done. You're probably wondering, why don't we just fix the tire? Well, it's got a tube in the tire and it's a Saturday and nobody's open. So 
we're just gonna have to deal with it until Monday. And then they'll probably have to order a tube. It'll probably take a little bit, so. Or we might have to get new tires in the front because they're getting pretty cracked. Uh, just add it to the list of things to do, but we're getting stuff done. That's all that matters. Well, that trailer's empty. Only like four or five more left. All right. saw there was leg arms in a very hairy situation. Almost caught a rabbit that was running around in here. Awesome job, we finally got it on there. We have the aeration floor, everything's on the trailer. We're gonna leave it on the trailer, we will not take it off. We'll let the guys that uh, are gonna put it together take it off, because it was so chintzy and so scary to put it on there that we thought we were gonna break stuff. Leave it on there, it'll be fine. And then uh, we'll go ahead and close this building up and head over there and we're done. So I'd say, fantastic job Wiggles. And he's pest control too. Yeah. Good morning. Man of many words, that's all I have to say. I don't have a script. <laughs> you didn't give me a script. I don't know what to say. Oh, come on, you didn't get the memo? Ah, whatever. Found a nail. Well, uh, they notified us that uh, they're ready to take a few more fees. Uh, we were gonna spray this morning, try to finish up the rest of the crop spraying, a little bit of chickpeas, some wheat, and then uh, we gotta do our chem fowl. Uh, but uh, it rained last night, uh, almost three tenths or more, and that's uh, the fields were a little tacky. So we loaded up and uh, we're heading off. We got Wigan Wiggles behind me. Uh, he's uh, driving the International. I got the Blue Pete. Uh, this is first run down to the process down in uh, Chester, Montana to deliver the bees. So he's going to follow me and then that way he'll know what to do. So anyway, we're on the road and uh, we'll see him a little bit. And uh, ho hopefully I'm going to hold on to him before he jumps. Can I help you, sir? I don't think there's any helping me. Really? Mm -hmm. Who do you work for? Oh wait a minute. Uh, am I allowed to? Am I allowed to say that on camera? The Welkers. I understand. All right. Our sympathies. It's not too bad. Okay. Here goes another load of peas to Chester. We're getting really close to the back of the building. Actually coming off the back wall, so about uh, 3,000 more. We'll probably get that cleaned up. As you can see, uh, well, we had some rain last night, about uh, three, four tenths, and then probably got another 15 hundredths or more. So yard's a little sloppy, truck's a little sloppy, and the boys say I drive sloppy. So consistency is the key. 
All right, let's get going. Are you being lazy? You can do it. Try the other leg. Okay? Grab with your opposing thumb. All right, good. When he thinks he can't hardly crawl up there, it's sure different than when he lunges out of the window. All right, I see Brad coming, so I better get out of his way. Let's get this to Chester. You're probably wondering how the crops are. The crops are looking great. They really are. Um, we had uh, probably close to two and a half inches at least of water in May, above average for us. And then now we're looking at over two inches now for the month, this month, which is supposed to be our, our um, rainiest month or our most precipitation month. And uh, we get up over that two and a quarter or so, that would probably be getting close to average. So we're gonna be close to average. So when you add those two together, and then also the cool weather that we're having, I think there's a couple days next week, we're gonna to get to 80. Uh, other than that, it's in the 70s. Uh, the crop we grow love that uh, cool temperature. I love that cool temperature. Kobe hasn't taken off his thermals from winter, so he loves that temperature, right? Right, Kobe? You like this, huh? Put her here. Yep, he didn't do it. He doesn't like it. Here, okay. You wanna, wanna shake? You wanna shake? Nah, he's too busy because we're heading downhill and he knows I'm driving. And uh, going downhill and driving for him is a little sketchy. For me, I just go with the flow. So, all right, let's take her. It's been a long time coming. Believe me, we are so excited for this. Do you see any peas in here? I don't see any peas in here. Wiggles has been hard at work, cleaning off all the walls, sweeping the floor, leaf blowing. He got this place sharp. All gone. Took like almost, what was that, nine months, 10 months to market these peas and get them out of this building. Oh, it's, that was a long time. But this is the thing. We're gonna go put some equipment inside here. No more, no more. No more is equipment sitting outside. Big buds coming inside. Combines coming inside. Sprayers coming inside. Let's pack them all in here. We're gonna do the big buds on one side. We're gonna do the combines on the other side because we gotta figure out how we wanna get them out when you know harvest comes here soon. And we might need a big bud to pull a sprayer out in case we get stuck. But let's go get them moved. Let's put them in here. Let's make this feel like a nice full shop again. Uh, just, I've been looking forward to this guys for a long time. I'm not kidding. I am. It's just been such a such a thorn in our side walking by and seeing a pile of peas in here and seeing equipment sitting out there. And there's, there's leg arms. I don't know what he's doing. He's driving around. All right, let's go get a bud. Let's put it in here. We're still thinking about building a building though, don't worry. That's actually probably gonna happen because we do have more equipment than we have space to put in. But, and on another night note guys, the bin builders are coming today to wreck those two 25K West Steel bins. Lots happening, it's good stuff. And even more, our, our crops are looking fantastic. The rain has been very timely. The spraying has been very timely. The weed control has been great. Things are off to a good start. I'm really happy. Praise the Lord, things to look up to. You know, oh, we need some good prices now at the elevator. All right, which bud? How about the 435? Let's take the 435 first.
just uh, finished spraying across to what we call across the interstate. Um, it's uh, kind of fun over there. Uh, a lot of hills and quite a climb to get in and out. Um, you would think that uh, what you've seen in the videos mostly is fairly flat, uh, but that one has some uh, pretty good draws or uh, what we call coolies. But uh, anyway, but yeah, just finished that and uh, we just head back to Phil again. Just crossed the interstate and had uh, to get a, another batch of chemical. Got Kobe. All right, what are you doing? He uh, beat me to the sprayer this morning. So anyway, here's some antelope and he's getting excited. What do you think? Is that antelope? Huh? All right, uh, yeah, Kobe had just uh, found a rabbit. Where's the rabbit? Do you see the rabbit? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's a little bit what we have uh, while we're out in the field. Kobe, uh, he's uh, constantly watching for that opportunity. Uh, Jackrabbit jumped up, and so I stopped, and he just jumps right off. He doesn't care how, how far it is to the ground. I couldn't even get the ladder down. Uh, he's ready to go, but uh, he can't catch them. They are so fast. Uh, they go well over 30 miles an hour and Kobe can run up to 21 or so uh, and uh, they kind of play with them so but anyway it's always fun he gets a big thrill out of it I kind of get a big thrill out of it the rabbit I'm not sure he gets a big thrill out of it um, it's probably a hairy experience for him but uh, you know I've seen some of the big jack rabbits just play with them They'll sit there and hop away, uh, run, and then they'll stop and stick their ears up and wait for them to catch up. Then they'll dart to a different direction and take off. And I, I know that they know they're really not in danger. And so let's, uh, let's have a little bit of uh, prairie rodeo going on. So, but anyway, uh, I still see him way off in the distance. I think he uh, finally has lost the rabbit. Uh, it's disappeared and i see him now coming back so he'll come back with his tongue him stepping on his tongue and uh we'll see how he gets up the ladder so all right i'm done spraying for this time uh every all the crops sprayed the chem follow's been over the second time and now we're going to go and clean this up and park it and move on to the next thing so all right uh, I'll wait for Kobe to come back well how was it Kobe was that fun huh was that fun huh now I'm gonna get him up into the sprayer he's probably gonna be very, fairly tired to do the climbing but uh, he can do it so let's see okay all right Kobe an air freshener in the cab it's called uh, dog breath so yeah it's gonna hound me all the way back to the farm but I don't mind he had fun did you have fun Kobe did you have fun yeah you're tired all right on to the next rabbit or kind of shut everything down and the whole thing all right we'll see you in a bit I have one question for Nick. What is all this stuff doing inside this building right now? I thought it'd be a good idea to get the peas out of here. And it's not like we have, I don't know, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment sitting inside this building at this very moment. But seriously. Well, I, I thought they didn't, you know, the sun is trying, they don't like the sun that much, so I thought they'd be okay in here. Can you believe a little brother is pushing the bigger brother 
around and he's he's actually intimidated by me. I, I, I did my job well. I, I, I didn't even sweep the floor. Dude. Wiggles did. Yeah, Wiggles actually did. <laughs> Thanks, Wiggles. Like a good neighbor, Wiggles is there. But anyways, no, this is actually, we are so thankful to have this building free and we can actually put equipment in here because it has been way too long. We don't want to put anything else in here besides iron. But if the day comes where we have a, a tremendous crop and we have to put it somewhere, we will consider it on putting stuff in here. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> We're going to consider. I might fill our houses first. Yeah. Our wives are going to have a slip and slide of wheat everywhere. And then they're going to have to cook lots and lots of bread. But it is nice. Stuff's out of the sun, out of the rain, and it's good to have it in here. So this is going to be a good place. Crazy thing is, those combines are coming out in about three weeks. I know. But they're talking a decent amount of rain coming up, and let's keep them out of the rain while we can before we have to take them back out. Yeah, so that'll so, be okay. Yeah, this is, a, this is great. This is fantastic. <sighs> but we're still going to build a building someday. Hopefully. Yeah. But we can check this off the list of the bin or a building being cleaned out. P's moved, iron back in, one more thing done. Go on a vacation. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Like and subscribe, please. Honestly, don't do, truly, don't do what he says, but you should do it. Thanks guys. <laughs>